Welcome to a new sprint for Pixel Art Academy Learn Mode. This time around, we are going to bring the snake game onto the Learn Mode. We have about two weeks to code this and then a little bit of testing. Hopefully I can get the builds out this time because last time I wasn't able to. But yeah, we're gonna update so that the Pico 8 app works and then we'll also have to update so that you will be able to draw it in the drawing app that we've done in the previous sprint. No time to lose and so I'll just see you in a week. We'll see how far we get then on next Monday. Well, hello. My wish was granted. I did indeed finish all functionality in just one week. It just went smoothly. No big issues down the road like last time, so it means that the architecture, the underlying foundations are slowly actually getting where they need to be, so I'm actually just using the new technology and it works. So with that said, let's see, one more week. Let's see how far I get, let's see if I get all of the builds ready and I'll see you at the end of the sprint. Well, 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 look at this. It's not dark because I'm not recording this on one of the Monday's streams on Twitch, but it's already Friday of that week. Uh, not because things didn't go well, things actually went great. So let me show you. I was able to finish everything and then some. Here we go. Here is the new build, build 0.4. Fort sprint is done and yes I was able to upgrade everything uh, so I can finally create new builds because last time I couldn't and here we go look at this we now have load game there we go here you can choose if you want to load one of the games that you've previously saved I already have one I'm recording this on my old laptop, so the smoothness of animation really isn't there, but it is normally without when I'm not recording. But look at this. This is what this sprint was all about. The Pico 8 app is there. And this is actually one of the oldest things that was created for Pixel Art Academy, is this snake game where you get just this kind of programmer art that you then get to draw on your own. So if we go into Pico 8, this is a console made by Lexilawful uh, that I was able to include in Pixel Art Academy. I'm very happy about that. But yeah, you just get this snake with, it even starts like a green square and a brown square. I've already smoothed the edges out a little bit as I was testing this out as part of the uh, save game. Uh, what it allows you is to create your own art the whole Pixel Art Academy goes in sort of three steps. In the tutorials, you are just learning the theory. Then in the challenges, you're putting that theory into practice. All of the things that you will need to do when you get to the third step, which is creating things. And in this case, it is artwork for the game of Snake. Here is where the fun begins. We can add in some shading, a little bit crazy, some weird dithering that's probably not supposed to be there. We, I always love to do some drop shadow like this. And then for the food, let's go with a carrot this time around. This might be very horrible to see. Yeah, sort of. There we go. And then you also have Pico 8 just here on your table if you just want to very quickly test. Here we have a little carrot, a little, a little green snake and you get to play your own creation. Now, isn't that cool? And yeah, don't worry if you're just doing this for the first time, just do whatever. Just do paint it in crazy colors, try something. And then later on in the future missions, you will, the learning, the theory and practice is going to be about the fundamentals of pixel art. So you actually get to, uh, yeah, put in all of those important fundamentals so that you will know what kind of decisions to make. These are now all the three apps that are needed. Only one app remains and that will be the learn mode app that shows you a big overview what kind of things there are to learn, what is still coming of the pixel art fundamentals in this installment of learn mode. So yeah, I am now ready to complete the final new content of learn mode 
and then we'll just have some polished stuff and try to get it out, test it out how it goes on Steam and uh, yeah, hopefully we get a demo by the end of summer. Alright, thank you very much for watching one more devlog. Join me on Patreon, join me on Discord, come by my Twitch streams, you're very welcome. And otherwise, thank you for subscribing and giving a like here on YouTube, I really, really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.